Hello everyone and welcome to this week's review. I am Prue and joining me is my magical elk friend, Mr. Mighty Mango. How are you? <laughs> magical elk friend. Uh, I am doing well. So we played a game this week, huh? Yeah, we did play a game. Yeah, <laughs> Did we? <laughs> we, didn't, well, we didn't get an achievement we, we, to prove it. <laughs> we played a lot of a game this week. Yes, yeah, what we game did. was that? We played Decay of Logos, which was published by Rising Star Games, developed by Amplify Creations. It was le- released on August 30th, 2019, for the fantastic price of 1995 or 1999. So, uh, what kind of game do you think this is, there, Prue? So, um,. It's a Dark Souls clone, I would call it. Um, but here's the thing. You know how, like, like um, there, there's rogue lights? I would call this, ironically, a Dark Souls light. Uh, bro, sorry, a Dark Souls bright because it's bright. Get it? It's a joke. Uh, oh, yeah, it's I fun. got it. Ha. Huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I would call it a Dark Souls kind of game. It's an action RPG uh, where the focus is on the combat. Um, and I will come up right, right out front and say... Wasn't a fan of Dark Souls, so this no, game didn't I have. No, uh, wasn't either. Yeah, so but but I will say this in in Dark Souls' defense, I could tell it was still a good game, a well designed game. Uh, I don't get that sense with uh, unfortunately with Decay of Lotus. No, I didn't get that sense at all. Um, I mean, I probably had ten ish hours into the game, did not get an achievement. I haven't been that frustrated at a game in quite a while. Um, and not even from the difficulty standpoint of the game, but just from the design of the game itself. Like, yeah, it, it's it, yeah, it, it's it's not again. We compared Dark Souls, but Dark Souls is punishingly difficult intentionally, whereas it feels like this game is not just difficult. It's both like frustrating unintentionally. Like all of the the systems mechanics uh, irritate you. And it's not like punishing, like Dark Souls, where you're like, oh, I just need to get better. It's like um, disheartening, and I don't want to continue to play this anymore because I don't know that I'll be able to do it, or there, or it was some stupid bug or glitch that stopped me from doing this, or, you know, the animation takes too long. It's just... What was the point if, of the magical elf, or the elk thing that you're supposed to ride around on? I, you go and get the berries to ride it, and you can ride it for like two seconds, and then you can't ride it anymore. What? Yeah. What so the you, point? You get an elk companion, and it's magical, and there's, like, some mechanic where you do have to feed a... deficient. Ah, uh, man, we're full of jokes. Oh, yeah. Um, it's... it's you're, you feed it berries to essentially refill its energy meter, or whatever you want to call it. Um, as a form of travel, it's almost entirely useless, because you run faster, and you're much easier to control when you're not on the elk. Like, when you're on the elk, you're constantly bumping into trees and invisible walls and any tiny rock that's jutting out of the land. Um, a blade of grass. Yeah, but there <laughs> um, there are gameplay purposes. Like, uh, there are certain um, puzzles that you need the elk to get past. See, I just so, got so annoyed with the elk that I just I wanted to kill the elk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, that That is definitely not what you're supposed to well, want in this game. you shouldn't be able to. <laughs> Uh, he's he is your buddy. Um, he starts out uh, in the game with you, and uh, I assume he's part of the story the whole way through. I didn't make it to the end of the game. I know you said you were ten hours in, but uh, I don't think you beat it either, right? No, no, I didn't beat anything. I didn't. <laughs> I, I, no, seriously, I, I've I've never played. I haven't played a game in so long where the the direction of where the hell you're supposed to go is completely not there. And I don't mind open world games. I don't mind it. But no matter where I went, I'm like, where the hell am I supposed to go? What the hell am I supposed to do here? This. This is dumb. It's just yeah. dumb. And you, so again, I think it t- took a lot of uh, pages out of Dark Souls and like no real tutorial to speak of. Like there's there's a beginning area with like signs that yeah, say the, press. Yeah, the little rock things that you click on. Yeah, and they, they say are. press A to attack, but like that's it, and it's super basic. There's no direction, and you're just kind of hey, go out and explore, like which. In a better game is fun to do, but here it's more frustrating than anything because you'll get killed real quick, or you'll get stuck in the geometry, or some you'll fall through the floor a lot. I had that happen to me. The game oh, crashed on me. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, it was bad. Um, and so, or you'll run into the same stupid tree enemy forty-two times, 
and you'll you won't find the whatever the stupid camps are that's supposed to heal you. I don't know. I just I was more frustrated than anything with this game. Yeah, same here. I like I said. I mean, the last few weeks we played the RTS games where we were both terrible at RTS games, but at least they were playable. This game is just if it was a disc, it's like one of those games where I just wanted to smash the disc. It just I the I will I will say it doesn't look awful, but it doesn't look great either. I was hoping for more of a game that was like a Zelda kind of clone. Like, well, it definitely, I, I would say it definitely takes a lot of um, its aesthetics from Breath of the Wild. Like, yeah. it, it kind of looks like a, a clone of that. Yeah, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't knock it for its graphics. I, no. I think they're, they're, and they look nice sometimes. It's like just even the mechanics are so bad. It's just, yeah. and the direction is so bad. At least, just, I wanted just some kind of a map so I knew where the hell I was, like, or where, because you kind of everything looks the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, and you will stumble across these like um, dungeons or or towers or caves and stuff like that. But again, it's pretty much you're fighting the same three enemy types and the same two puzzle types, and it's just tedious. Yeah. And then you something will happen. You're not paying attention, and you get hit by this rock dude, and you're dead. And it's like, oh god, everything is lost. Yep. I, it's just f- frustrating. It was not a fun experience, and. In terms of achievement hunting, I would say this may be the worst game. It, from for that for that feature alone, this may be the worst game we played. Yeah, I, I would I would say so. Of all the ones that we've reviewed, by far the worst. Yeah, because you played ten hours. I, I think I played probably six to six to eight hours of this, and I didn't get an achievement. Yeah. And um, okay, so let's talk about the achievements. There are how many? There, there are. No, I lost track how many there are. Because only only forty one gamers have ha- have the game complete have the game and only two have completed it. That's weird. It didn't give me a list here. It doesn't have a <laughs> list at the top of the page on TA. Oh, there it is. Blind late, late long day. Sorry guys. Uh, Twenty nine achievements worth a thousand gamer score. Um, it's currently uh, uh, worth about two point six T- TA. So twenty six ninety nine for score. Um, but yeah, forty one track gamers have have the, have the game and two have completed it. But of those 41 track gamers, I bet you there's way more that have played the game, like you and I, that didn't get an achievement. Yeah. And I don't think it's because the achievements are missable. It's just the fact is, is like, they're impossible to get because you don't know where you're supposed to go to get them. Yeah, you took a left instead of a right. Um, it looks like the f- the one that everybody has, the first one that everybody unlocks, is for defeating uh, this ancestral brute, which I I could have sworn I beat. I would have bet money that I beat him. I think so I did perhaps, too because I saw him. And I'm pretty sure yeah. I fought him and beat him. Perhaps uh, that was glitched or something. Maybe something weird happened. But uh, other than that, uh, it, it's a steep drop off. I mean, obviously that's the first one that people register. Uh, then it, it, it falls off pretty sharply. Uh, like you said, twenty, just about twenty seven hundred TA. Yeah. So there's there's it's a meaty game it looks like. But um, I don't know. I have no idea. I couldn't even guess. How long it would take? Yeah, to some of them are. I mean, it has the lovely unlock all the achievements achievement, and then it also has a few collectible achievements, and then a few of the story ones worth defeating certain people. But I mean, I'm pretty sure you and I probably both beat that brute. Yeah. But I, I didn't get one. <laughs> it looks like there's a handful of uh, missables for uh, conversation pieces. Like you have to exhaust all conversations with certain characters. So be on the lookout for that if you play the game. Um, other than that, the, the list actually looks pretty straightforward. It's just in terms of how much are you going to have to play this game and how good are you going to have to get at it. Yeah. And I, I'm looking at the leaderboard for the game itself. I don't recognize anybody in the list. So definitely that tells me already that it's not an achievement hunter type game. You really no, no. Need, you really would need to like 3D adventure style, frustrating, worse, dark, worse than Dark Souls game that pretends to be Zelda. <laughs> I bet people, I bet people, like really hardcore Dark Souls people, would find something to like here. Maybe. Um, but other, like, I mean, obviously, they would know it'd be watered down and not uh, be what they're used to. But th- that that niche market would, I would be like, okay, you should go for this. But other than that, especially especially in our community, that's like, nah, this yeah, is yeah, just yeah. not this, not worth it. For who our 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 marketing is, or who our our people yeah. that we're marketing to. I, this is not for achievement hunters, by far. Just it's not. Yeah. So, uh, but but for twenty bucks, 
uh, there it is. If you wanted to play a brand, almost brand new, almost brand new, uh, uh, action RPG role playing game. So Decay of Logos, right? Correct. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for us. So we will throw it back to you guys. <laughs>